In this video, I'm going to show you what to do if your PS5 is having issues installing the PlayStation 5 system software updates. Now, in most cases, whenever you power on your PS5 and a new software update is available, the update should automatically download to your system and install correctly as long as you are connected to the internet. But if for some reason your PlayStation 5 isn't downloading the update or you get an error message, there's a few things that you can do to fix this. Make sure to leave a like rating on this video and we'll go ahead and get started. The first thing I recommend is to try using an ethernet connection instead of Wi-Fi if the software update is having trouble downloading to your PS5. Now it's by no means necessary or required that you use a wired connection to update the system software, but it could be helpful if your PS5 is having trouble downloading the actual update. The next thing you can do is to try and manually install the system software update. First thing is to go to your settings, then select system, system software, software update, and choose update system software. On this screen, you should see an update available notification. Simply follow the instructions on screen and you should be able to download your PlayStation 5 software update. Now, for some reason that doesn't work, there's actually another way to force the system update to your PS5. You'll first wanna hold down the power button on your PS5 until it beeps twice in order to put it into safe mode. Make sure that your controller is connected through USB and then scroll down to update system software. With this menu, you'll have the option to update your PS5 using the internet or USB. Now, in most cases, selecting the internet option will work for most users and fix the problem. But if you still can't update your PlayStation 5, you can download the system update to a USB drive using your computer, and you can update the PS5 manually. So now you know exactly what to do if for some reason your PlayStation 5 isn't automatically updating the system software. Hopefully this fixes your issue, and if you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like rating on this video, comment below to let me know what you think, and as always, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for post notifications. I'll see you guys next week.